Good morning. It's Leap Day, February 29th, 2024, and it's a Thursday. It's a beautiful sunny day outside today. There's a bit of a brisk wind. It's a little chilly this morning, but who knows? This may be the last chilly day we have this winter. Who knows? Um, I was just looking at the long term, and it says that March should be much above average for this part of the for this part of the country for this time of year so if you like golf that's good news for you if you like cross-country skiing the bad news only continues but whatever the weather is it's good to be with you on this leap day uh, my own internal weather is oh it's uh, mostly cloudy today I got less sleep than I did have in, in the other nights, but um, it's still a good day. Sun's peeking through internally. Uh, I'm looking forward to Bible study this morning. That should be good. I'm also looking forward to my Rotary meeting this afternoon. That's always a nice little respite in the middle of the day. So uh, it's good to be with you today. Uh, since there is, uh, you know, I didn't particularly care for the reading in For All the Saints, which is where I usually get the readings uh, from, that devotional. Uh, today we're going to be looking at George Herbert, whose day is actually tomorrow. George Herbert is an, was an Anglican priest, a poet. He was a politician before, before his, uh, his patron, James I, died. And after that, uh, he resolved to study, to study divinity and became a parish priest. His career was a very short one because he was in very ill health. Uh, he served maybe four years in his parish, but he, he developed quite a reputation in that short amount of time. Uh, it makes it, it just as, uh, reminds me of those who've lived short lives, but who have made such an impact on those around them. Uh, Herbert was, is perhaps best known today for his poetry. Uh, it was, uh, you know, uh, it's often set to music. I think the most famous one that we know is uh, Come My Way, My Truth, My Life, which we are singing in during the Lenten services. Uh, but he's also known for several others. So I will be reading um, Easter from his poetry collection today. This is, let's see. Our reading is from Romans. Do you not know that all of us who are baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we were buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we also might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. And the poem is Easter from the temple. Rise, heart, thy Lord is risen. Sing his praise without delays. Who takes thee by the hand that thou likewise with him mayst rise that as his death calcine thee to dust, his life may make thee gold, and much more just. Awake, my lute, and struggle for thy part with all thy art. The cross taught all wood to resound his name who bore the same. His stretched sinews taught all strings what key is best to celebrate this most high day. Consort both heart and lute and twist a song pleasant and long. Or, since all music is but three parts vied and multiplied, O oh, let thy blessed spirit bear a part, and make up our defects with his sweet art. I got me flowers to straw thy way, I got me boughs off many a tree, but thou wast up by break of day, and broughtst thy sweets along with thee. The sun arising in the east, though he give light and the east perfume, if they should offer to contest with thy arising, they presume. Can there be any day but this, 
though many suns to shine endeavor. We count three hundred, but we miss. There is but one, and that one ever. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer for all of those in need, particularly those who suffer from violence, from violence in their homes, from violence between nation states, for those who have lost hope. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. God's blessing be yours today and every day. I'll see you on Saturday.